Oh, hi there. We were just having a conversation about Call of Duty Ghosts here on GameSpot's E3 2013 newsroom. Oh man, we sure were. Yeah, we were just really deep into the nuts and bolts of Call of Duty Ghosts. Um, I'm Sean McInnes, Dan Capini. Dan, let's start out with what everybody yeah. wants to know about. It's a subject on everybody's mind right now. Yes, you can shoot underwater. Yes, you can <laughs> shoot underwater. Those guns are future guns. It's not even a spear gun, it's <laughs> yeah. a regular gun. That's true. Um, Let's talk about the dog. The dog. Yeah, the dog. Collar duty. Collar duty. <laughs> so the dog is... The dog is an attack German Shepherd. And yes. you kind of like... And he wears like this special collar, right? Yep. And you can kind of directionally guide him around by pulling open your computer that navigates the dog around. And you're almost in like this... It's not quite first person because you're not seeing through dog yep. eyes. But you're slightly removed and you're... Because it's the, the thing on its back. It's got yeah. this special harness yeah. with a uh, telescopic, not telescopic, uh, like a periscope style. Yeah. It's a dog cam. Yeah. It's a dog cam. Yeah, effectively. And you basically pilot him around like a drone almost, and then you just lunge at guards yeah. and attack them and kill them. Tear their throats out. It's pretty gruesome stuff. It's pretty gruesome. And I, I thought one of the most interesting parts actually was yeah. the, the fact that you don't just pick your targets and go uh -huh. straight in. There was one part where you actually had to use it almost as a stealth style mechanic yeah. to spot targets. Yeah. So kind of like a, a drone dog to uh, spot them from the air. Although yeah. uh, there was a scientist and then there was an armed guard. Uh -huh. Then there was a sniper and the sniper was designated red. Mm -hmm. So it's not exactly clear exactly how it's going to work right. or whether you can choose the dog at any time or if it's only kind of set piece moments. Right. Yeah. Um... What, so what did you think about the look of the game? Because this, you know, the yeah. Call of Duty franchise has kind of taken a, few, a bit of flack in recent installments in terms of, you know, it hasn't quite aged all that well visually, mm -hmm. but this is a brand new engine, next-gen Call of Duty. What you, would you think? And, you know, from the get-go, they've said, you know, new engine, uh -huh. new story. Uh, this isn't the safe Call of Duty that people were expecting from, you know, Modern Warfare 4. Mm -hmm. It looks great. Look, yeah, you know, yeah. as a next gen title, they, they started with a bit of a tech demo. Mm -hmm. They talked about some of the tessellation stuff they're doing, uh, and that HDR is a big thing for them. So they yeah. want to do more dynamic lighting. So as you come out of dark places, it'll blow out the screen a little bit. Yeah. Um, and the the little touches, you know, the the water, the grass, the the incidentals, yeah. and the buildings in particular, actually, all looked really, really great. Yeah, I will say that you definitely notice the improvements a lot more outdoors than you do indoors. Yep. We saw a few like indoor environments where you're basically walking through a hallway and it's dark and gloomy and you can't really tell what they've done there. But yeah. you step outside, particularly we saw this one mission where you're out on a rooftop and you're overlooking the skyline and you're on a zip cord going yep. to another building and then all of a sudden he looks down and it's just terrifying. Just yeah. like the expanse below him. And we saw a similar sort of thing with uh, Metal Gear Solid Five. Right. you know, the big vast vistas of open spaces. And I yeah. think those will become the hallmarks of next gen engines and tech. Because right. now it's not that kind of fog of war. We can see, you know, 10, 20, 50, 100 meters in the in the, um, the distance, and yeah. then we'll have to blur everything else out. Absolutely. Um, so we should talk about that, actually, because one thing that I thought was interesting was that in that mission where yeah. you are infiltrating this building, you, you go in kind of stealthily, uh, you, you're part of a three-man team, uh -huh. but they really want you to be the focus of the action. Yeah. You've got two either side of you, and you'll need to take out one or a couple of targets, uh -huh. and they, they don't really wait for you to... Uh, issue a command. Right. You know, you're the one pulling the trigger at every opportunity. Yeah. Did that surprise you? I don't know. I don't know. Did it surprise you? Well, there, there were bits where there were two targets, and I thought, yeah. okay, you know, we'll take one each. Uh -huh. There are those kind of scripted moments, and there were right. a couple of those. But there were other. Maybe our maybe our demo guide was just <laughs> good, um, but he'd take out both targets, and they're right. always single shots through the glass. Yeah. Uh, unsuspecting victims. Yeah. Absolutely. All right, so there it is, your update on Call of Duty Ghosts here at E3 2013. For more on the game, check out our E3 uh, stage demo and even more coverage from the show here on GameSpot.com.